Alright, I've been reading a lot of misconceptions about ether lately. <clears throat> ether. No, your vehicle will not get addicted to this stuff. I, I don't care. It's impossible for a mechanical device to be addicted to something that all it does is lower the flash, uh, flash point of the fuel to ignite it. It doesn't care how it gets lit, whether it be warm enough that it's got enough compression to self-ignite, uh, whether it be your glow plug system igniting it, or whether it be ether or gas or whatever. It will not become addicted to this. My truck, the glow plug system when I bought it was shot. I started it for like a year on ether, <clears throat> put some good glow plugs in it, fixed the system, started fine. Now the relay's gone. And it just does not want to start without ether again, so I gotta fix the relay. <clears throat> but this is how you properly start a vehicle using ether. Well, the 90, 93 F250 IDI. Get the high idle solenoid on there. <clears throat> now, I just jumped the solenoid, but you can do this from inside as well. Wait until you see fuel come out of that stack. Okay, we got white smoke. Pistons are now full of fuel and they're wet. And there goes my cap. So, this is going to be kind of hard, but what I like to do is get the engine running, rolling over. Of ether in there. Not much, much of that one in there, but anyways. That's it. Now, the purpose of rolling the motor over until you see white smoke coming out of the exhaust, whether it be stacks, tailpipe, whatever, is to make sure that there's fuel in the cylinders and the pistons are wet. Ether is a very dry, dry uh, starting aid and it will cause damage if you use too much, but you will burn holes in the pistons. You can cause a lot of damage. You can loosen the pre-cups, especially in something like this old IDI. But if you just take some precautions, use a little bit, not much, you won't have a problem. And like I say, it will not get addicted to ether. 